All right, we're almost done with creating our solo set. Just three more steps. Bear with us, all right? So now that our wafers are dry, we're going to apply another layer onto the front side of the wafer. We're going to apply an anti-reflective coating. Now, the anti-reflective coating will assist in the absorption of light, which is a good thing. We want these photons to go into the solar cell to create electricity. So we're going to place the wafers into another machine where we deposit a silicon nitride layer, SI3 and 4. Once that's done, we'll move on to the next step, which is printing. Now here we use advanced solar technology printing technology stuff. It's actually just t-shirt printing technology. It's pretty basic. So we have a squeegee and a film, and we'll apply paste to the front of the squeegee. And when we start the machine, it'll apply the paste onto the solar cell. Now for the start, we're going to do the backside, and we're going to apply aluminum to the backside. We're going to apply it to the whole wafer, right? So we put our aluminum paste onto the machine and we press start and it'll put aluminum all across the wafer. What aluminum does is it acts as a dopant, which provides more holes this time versus the phosphorus adding more electrons. In addition to being a dopant, it's also going to act as an anti-reflective coating. So when the light goes through the wafer, perhaps not all of it is absorbed. So the rear reflective coating will send whatever wasn't absorbed back through the wafer so it can be absorbed again. So that's a good thing. Now that we've got the aluminum applied, we're going to apply silver for our contacts. So we replace the screen and put a new one in, put silver paste this time in front of the squeegee, and boom, do the same thing. Now we've got these nine little bars to apply contacts to. And that's rear printing. Then we move on. Well, actually, we have to dry for 20 minutes in a furnace, but then we move on to front side printing. Should have put front side over here. Front side. There we go. All right. So it's a very similar technique. We have another squeegee, we have another film, and we have more silver paste. We apply silver paste to the front of the squeegee. Boom, press start. And we create these nice, lovely fingers and bus bars. Here, the fingers and the bus bars will collect electrons and send them out of the solar cell to generate electricity. But that would be the last step in creating our solar cell. Thank you guys for paying attention.